Hey everybody, Mark Yegi here. Just a quick update on Tesla today. Really weird stuff going on with Tesla. Obviously, it's at a, at a hopefully a bottom, but it's been in a sell-off for a couple of months, actually this whole quarter. And if you're a Tesla investor like I am, it's been lousy. But today was bizarre, right? Today, Tesla's going along, la, 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 minding its own business. And Reuters puts out some stupid report. Maybe it's not stupid, but we'll see. They put out this report that says Tesla is scrapping low-cost car plans amid fierce Chinese EV competition. The article goes on. It's from Reuters that says Tesla has canceled the long-promised inexpensive car that investors have been counting on to drive its growth into a mass-market automaker, according to three sources. They never show, show you the sources, do they? Familiar with the matter and company messages seen by Reuters. Wonder what sources these are. Could it be shorts? People that are trying to sell the market? Well, that's funny because about an hour later, not even an hour later, Elon Musk puts out this tweet that says Reuters is lying again, right? And so here's what the stock did. It's really interesting to see what the stock did. So if you take a look at the stock, you could see that it, it was going on. This is a one minute chart. And you could see that it was going along, you know, down a, a buck or something like that for the day. And then all of a sudden that news article comes out where I have that arrow and the stock just tanks. Ten bucks goes all the way down to 160, one penny above its recent low, right? One penny above. And then all of a sudden Musk puts out that article that says Reuters is lying again and the stock jumps up to 168, eight dollars within a within five minutes. And, you know, is the story real? Is the story not real? Like, it's hard for me to imagine that Tesla is going to take what it's spent millions of dollars designing, this $25,000 car, which really is the prototype for the robo-taxi that they're going to have with full self-driving, and scrap it. First of all, they've, they've created a way to make the manufacturing costs go down like 50% from what they expected. So they're going to have high margins in the car, high volume because it's going to be cheaper. Why would they scrap it in favor of robo-taxis and full self-driving when I think the two really work well together? So I don't know who's telling Reuters, some short sellers out there telling Reuters something. Maybe there's legitimacy to it, but it's funny. You can't listen to the news, right? you got to watch your back. There's somebody that made a ton of money within a 15-minute period right here. I'm showing you on the chart. And uh, you've got to watch your back. So there's a lot of bad news out there on stocks. And when there's a lot of bad news, there's usually a big spring up that happens after that. So anyway, just wanted to make you aware of that. If you want to get more of this stuff, hit like, hit subscribe, all that stuff that everybody else says. I also have a newsletter called Insider Tips. So you can go to cashflowmachine.io forward slash tips. Uh, you know, what other stuff we're up to. Anyway, thanks for being here. Just wanted to show you the, uh, the Tesla stuff. It's just crazy, crazy.